an AI. You can take a picture of yourself and it will analyze everything from the color of your skin to the hair color to your clothing. And then it'll go out and find products to merchandise with what you're wearing. As you click on the things that you like, it learns your behavior and the machine learning readdresses the uh, the product uh, presentation to your behavior. So, uh, uh, so any any uh, store owner can integrate this in your site, and all they need to do is just upload a photo or a click f- a photo. So click a photo, and it'll go out and find the products. That, and you once you start clicking on the products that you like, then the machine learning learns your behavior and readdresses the the products to your behavior and likes and dislikes. It also has trend forecasting in it, so it gives you products that will be on the trends of what's going on in the marketplace based on the behavior of the other consumers. Nice. And uh, would it also consider, you know, the the shape, the size, the fitting and everything? Correct. We have um, a, a uh, fitting fit software that basically uh, we can analyze your your fit by taking pictures of your front and your back, and then we use artificial intelligence based on the region and your your uh, numbers that you give us, we'll analyze it and then create an avatar of you that you'll be able to go into our made to measure and be able to design your own clothes. We have a hundred trillion SKUs in our available, available for you to design from and multiple fabrics that you can design from. And within seven days after you design the product, it'll be finished in production and three to five days it'll be at your front door, made to measure. Great. So that's 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 a brilliant one. What you know? What else? You know, we, we did visit your site, and there were some other really. You know, I think it was the whole digital procurement, if I am using the term correctly. Just just to kind of back up and give you some information on where we're looking at, and as far as the overall picture in artificial intelligence, we're using it for market intelligence, trend predictions, robotics and clothing production, product customization customer service, quality control, design and buying, chain inventory management, AI personal assistant, 3D bots, and avatar fit and personal shoppers. On top of that, we work on top of the blockchain. On the blockchain, we use it for transparency in the supply chain, intellectual property, product authentication, real-time inventory visibility, blockchain factoring and finance, blockchain contracts and data sharing, decentralized and peer-to-peer integration, Cryptocurrency, token identification, DApps, and NFTs. And NFTs are not monkeys. They're all different types of contracts and 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 uh, legal. So if, if you could simplify it a bit for us. So if, if you had to describe this in a simplest way to an apparel business owner, how would it work for them? What are the things he or she could do using this whole Okay. Within our ecosystem, as far as a retailer, if they were wanting to design their own products for their stores, we have the ability for them to go online and create their own per- product labels with our made to measure and it, it'll do small runs for them. We can do as, as few as one up to as you know thousands if they need the product in that quantity, but they'll be able to design based on market trends, based on new fabrics, based on all the things that people want to know about before they get to market. And then half the time when they leave market, they don't get that information. All that information will be supplied them to them through artificial intelligence. Okay, so everything can, within the platform. Right, they can design their own product line and for their stores, a consumer can buy, design their own personal products for themselves. And we give them the opportunity to also utilize this technology within the store by, by having scanners in the store to be able to help the people in understanding how to how to utilize this technology, if they're willing to go that direction. The problem is getting people to move that direction right now because they're they're stuck in analog world. And I can't wait for them to move. Either we, they move with us or we have to bypass them.